This problem is concerning solving the proportion equation. And um, this is in response to another student question. So to solve this one, we have 2 feet 6 inches is to 2 feet 3 inches as L is to 4 foot 6 inches. So in our problem here that was given, um, we have two different measures to work with feet and inches. Now the question asks you to solve the problem in feet. So what we've got to do is change these inches to feet. Now we've got some facts that we know about um, feet and inches. Um, the main fact that we know is that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So we're going to use that fact. And if we look at um, setting up a ratio of comparing feet to inches, like one foot is to 12 inches, if we just looked at that, that's going to give us one, because one foot and 12 inches is the same measure, so something divided by itself equals one. Or we could look at it like this. This is another way to list our conversion fact, is 12 inches is to one foot. So we need to pick something to change these inches over here in the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I want to replace this 6 inches here in the problem with something as a foot measurement. So this is my work here, 6 inches times one foot over 12 inches. And the reason I chose this particular fact, one foot over 12 inches, is I'm trying to get feet as my answer. And if I multiply by feet over inches, then the inches will cancel. That'll cancel with this inches here. And then we just multiply across. So we end up with six over 12 and we just multiply numerators and denominators together, which reduces to one half. Hmm. Sorry about my handwriting. <laughs> and then we have another measurement inches over here in the problem, which is three inches, and we need to change that to feet. So to do that, here again, we're going to use that same conversion fact. This I've got highlighted here in the box. One foot is to 12 inches, because we want the inches to cancel. And then multiplying across, we end up with 3 over 12 feet, which reduces to 1 fourth. So what we can do now is go back and replace these for the inches up here in our problem. So we're going to replace um, this 6 inches up here in the problem with 1 half foot. And we're going to replace the 3 inches with 1 fourth foot. And this 6 inches we're going to replace with a half foot. So our problem changes to this with a mixed fraction. So in this equation that we have here, we need to um, do this like we do the other problems. We're going to cross multiply. So I need to multiply these two together and then I'm going to go back and multiply these two together. Okay, so in the first part we've got two and a half times four and a half and then in the second part we have two and a fourth times L. That's in the yellow. And we want to solve this equation. Now, we can do this with our calculator, and so um, I'm going to take a moment to show you how to type this into your calculator. We, first of all, we need to multiply 2.5 times 4.5. Okay, so we're going to take care of that. So to multiply 2.5 times 4.5 using a TI-34, if you'll notice on the second row of keys, we have a U n over d, this is going to give us a mixed number. This is just a simple fraction. So if I strike that key and then type in 2 and a half, so I want to toggle over error over to the right, 
and then arrow down for my denominator and then away from that times our four and a half so using that key again four and then arrow to the right and a half one and go down two so we're just typing it just like we read it and enter that gives us 11 and 1 fourth now at this point in our equation with this 11 and 1 fourth equals um, 2 and 1 fourth L to get the L by itself what we're going to need to do is multiply both sides or divide both sides of the equation excuse me because it's being multiplied by 2 and a fourth so we're going to need to divide on both sides by 2 and a fourth trying to get the L by itself oops oh I got carried away sorry about that See if I can get it to fix back up. Okay, so now we're going to take our answer, that 11 and 1 fourth, and divide it by 2 and 1 fourth in our calculator. So typing in, going back to that UND key, we're going to type in 11 and 1 fourth. and divide that by 2 and 1 4 so that's another mixed number 2 and 1 fourth and enter and our final answer for L is equal to 5 now I've shown how to do this problem using mixed numbers and using our calculator we could have just as easily done this problem by using decimals and we'll talk about that in a later video.